Hey guys, T Gaming here again with another episode of the Let's Play of EA Sports UFC 3 Career Mode. Uh, last time we had two fights, and we uh, I, I showed you guys which one we are fighting next. So this is the guy, Sean Benton. We're gonna go and accept the fight. Accept three weeks of training should be enough. <coughs> I'm sorry again for my voice. It's it's cold as hell in here, and I have a cold. So yeah, let's get all clean. Schedule camp. I'm sorry. Uh, basement gym. No, I think we'll, we're gonna go to a, to a real gym this time. Uh, let's go to a right now. Can't afford that one yet. Uh, Carisi's gym. Why not? Let's go. <coughs> I'm sorry if I'm coughing. Sometimes I'll try and keep it down, but this cold is getting worse and worse. So let's go ahead and uh, schedule training camp for three weeks. So a really good way to to handle this is first do a couple of attributes training. Oh, Todd Green. I'll worry about that after my fight. Oh, no doubt. And I'll do my absolute best. So a good a good tip for you guys is um when you're training, do the attributes training first. Because as you can see we have moderate fitness now. Oh no. As we have moderate fitness, we can already go and sp start sparring, so I guess we'll go start sparring first. So we get that fitness up higher and higher. <coughs> so you gain fitness, and then after you gain fitness, you can um, you can more easily train your attributes. So that's a really good way to train up. Also, I know uh, training is a little boring to watch. So um, if you want, next time I can cut it out. Train up, man. Let's go. Good block. I'm sorry for being quiet again. <laughs> That one. So, I think this is our last fight before we get into the UFC. Um, once we get into the UFC, things are gonna get a little bit more difficult, but we'll manage, I hope. So, as you can see, you now get a key to victory. Your opponent has been hurt by spinning backfist in prior fights. You can miss. A forward moving roundhouse kick and, com in c and combo that miss with a spinning back fist. I think that's going to be a pain in the butthole as we don't have the spinning back fist move yet. But maybe we can unlock it um, by learning it from somebody in this gym. Let's see here. No. Overhand. Nope. Well, we cannot yet unlock that. But the overhand is a really good move. And the jab, I really want to level up as well. So, land 20 punches without missing 5 in 45 seconds. We should be able to do that. is isn't going to be that difficult. So, yeah. Get more accurate do that. here. I want to see high percentage shots. <coughs> also, if you guys um, have any trouble hearing me, I turned there down we the go. volume. Nice shot. Last time. You got more. I watched my video. And I thought I, uh, the sound wasn't that. There we go. Touch him up. Mean. So my voice would get walked Good away punch. by the by the sound of Beautiful the game, punch. which isn't really what we want to do here. That's it. You really so touched them up it. out there. A lot. <coughs> Heavy hands and the overhand apply moves. This is a really good system as well, in uh, because last time. In the EA Sports UFC 2, you could just unlock points, and with those attribute points, you could unlock the moves. And in here, you have to actually work for it. Some some challenges can be quite difficult, but it's it's manageable. It's completely manageable, and it's very very. You can easily see what you have unlocked, and you can immediately apply the moves and the perks, which I like a lot. So. 
again, it's gonna help us a lot. Now we'll we'll go do some attributes training again. Get that fitness up. Train the attributes. Rope a dope. Sure. Let's go. And with that, we are going to start the next week of training. Um. No, we did enough sparring. As you can see, we are at peak fitness right now. So attributes training will now be very good. As you can see, we can all gain a lot of points. Dumbbell shadow boxing, toughness heart. I think we're gonna we're gonna go with speed and stamina first. So striking stamina here. Minus twenty. Let's go the power and strike speed. Let's do two of these. And then another two of the stamina. <coughs> As you can see right now we're at 100 peak fitness. If we were to spar right now and we would overtrain, it'll have to, it'll actually be worse when we're fighting. So we'll, got, we'll have a lot of stat drops. I think I'm going to go with the... With this one now. So again, I didn't really actually see what the challenge is, but here really is see good punches. Ten, miss, 10 punches without missing three. Beautiful speed! Beautiful Boom. work! It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. At the early levels, at the early levels, it's really easy to gain, gain moves and perks. So, again, apply moves to jab, level three. Boom. Apply perks. Oh yeah, the body hook, I forgot it. Body hook. Boom. Okay, continue, and now let's do some more attributes training and maybe a little bit of promoting. And then we'll fight, and that's where the fun begins. Accuracy, strike stamina, chin strength, not unimportant. Return the calendar. Why would I return the calendar? I'll cut this shit out, I'm sorry. Uh, head movement, strike stamina. Touch butt? No, I don't like to touch butt. I do like strike speed and endurance. And the uh, power as well. Now, we can return the calendar. Okay, it's fight week. Let's go. Hey kid, good luck in your fight. Make sure to put on a show for the looking for a fight crew. If you guys didn't know, there's actually a show on YouTube with Dana White looking for a fight where they recruit new fighters and they travel across the the, the United States and sometimes even the world. So, and they do a lot of funny shit as well. If you want to see that, it's on YouTube. It's actually hey, I'm UFC well. president Dana White. And we're always looking for up-and-coming talent to sign. Back in the day, I used to scout the world looking for new talent. But I haven't done that in years. I'm looking for the next Ronda Rousey, the next Robbie Lawler, the next Conor McGregor. I'm looking for future champions. And I'm willing to go to any show, anywhere in the world to find them. Super excited about the talent on tonight's card. A lot of tough fighters. Let's see who really wants their shot at the UFC. That might be us, guys. That's m this might be us. What am I saying? This will be us. Let's go. Sean Benton versus Albie Adams. I'm telling you, if he wins this fight, I'll bring him in. I wonder if you can see him sitting in this, at the side right there. No, no touch fist. Let's see, look, keep uh, looking at the size if you can see the crew. I can't see him anywhere. Okay, let's keep, let's keep fighting. He's got blasted, he's still in there, this kid. Boom, no moves, baby. This is also a really fun combination in online. Go with the body body hook 
and then go with an overhand. Just gonna serve a little bit of more stamina here. Oh. Skadoosh, let's go. Come on, guy. You know, you know you can do it. Come on. How bad do you want this fight? Let's keep it entertaining for the Dana White crew, right? Let's go. Come on, dude. I'll keep you against the fence. Come on, dude. Yes, I saw him. Can you see him? Here, in the right in front of us. There's Dana White, Matt Serra, and the other guy. I don't know who it was. Was it Dean Thomas? I didn't think it was Dean Thomas. Come on, pussy. Let's go. Come on, Sean. You want to be in the UFC? Be a little bit. Okay. Be a little bit more aggressive. You guys are scrapping, man. Look how banged up this dude is. Look at this, look at this. That's what they'll say in a minute. So I wonder if you guys are really interested in the UFC or do you just like the EA Sports UFC games? Which for me, I really enjoy the UFC. I watch fights regularly. Of course, just like everybody, I like watching Conor McGregor, it's really a shame that he that he's not fighting anymore since he fought the Mayweather fight. Made a lot of money there probably. Well not probably that he actually made a lot of money. That's probably why he's not fighting anymore. And he's got a baby now, so that's probably is a reason as well why he's not why he's not fighting anymore. God damn it, those body kicks. I need to train myself on on grabbing them legs. Come on, throw another one. Now. Oh, so my my round. You didn't do this anything. Be this was all me. Maybe we should put it down. No, okay. It's, it's so boring, dude. Come on. Give Dana a wide fight to look at. Come on, let's go. Run him around. Run his head around like that. The rock and stop and throw by. Get him down. I like his attitude more than anything. Look at it. Oh no, you're not gonna let him run. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Yeah. This was the easiest fight in the world. We should have we should have put him on his ass in the first round. <clears throat> that's not really a celebration, I mean. That's about it. That's all we did. Apart from uh we didn't even rock him on the on the feet. It's because our power isn't that high yet. And we're still slow and our stamina needs a lot of work, but we won. We're in the UFC. That was nasty. That wasn't nasty at all, Dana. I'm so sorry he gave you a boring fight. Okay. Let's go. Stoppage in the first round. I'm so sorry, guys. That was the most boring fight I've ever actually done on the UFC. Uh, continue. I love guys that have that enthusiasm and excitement and want to be in the UFC so bad. That's not me. I'm so sorry. I do want to be in the UFC, but this fight was so boring. Okay. Hey, hey, Adams. I'm coming for you. You'll see this face soon, Sean Benton. Okay. Sean Benton. How about you shut the fuck up now, huh? Who are you again? You're the most boring fight I've ever seen. I hope you give me a bit of a rivalry match. Ooh, rookie, look at this, going into the UFC. Okay, okay. So this is where we're at now, simulate recovery. And um, I'll just cut this training bit out so you guys can see um, more fights. And if you don't want it, you just leave a comment below saying that you want to see the training bits as well. Uh, for me, it's not really any different. But I can imagine for you guys, it's, it's more important. So yeah, I'll uh, select the fighter here. Let's go with this guy. 
So yeah, um, I'll do the training and I'll see you guys in a minute, and uh, we'll start the fight. Okay. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, we did some training. We unlocked a few new moves and a perk called Zero In. We sparred with Eddie Wineland, and we got some attributes up. So now it's time to fight. I think I will go with this one. Okay, let's go. UFC Minute. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Levy and this is your UFC Minute. The UFC returns this weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines. When UFC President Dana White went looking for a fight, he was hoping that he would end up with a future UFC star. And those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated the local featherweight circuit en route to his UFC debut this weekend. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight to... Okay, so that was our UFC Minute. I really like the UFC Minute and the, you know, the, well, the backstage images on of us doing... It, so in the future, we'll have some so press conferences and stuff, but... UFC I enjoy it. Makes for great thumbnails. So, first fight in the UFC. The Sean the Benton guy, our rival, was talking some, sh some more shit, and I told more him to go five F years himself. Apart, with similar height and, some and now we're here in the UFC, in the octagon. Mario Yamasaki being the judge, and we are ready for uh, being the, here at the uh, referee, I'm sorry. In Montreal, Quebec. Oh, this is more of my. Right, so here we go with round one. Down. After winning his fight on Dana White, looking for a fight, he has arrived at the UFC debut. And when you have this type oh, okay, of fight, like this, fight. this type of pressure, He's sometimes forward, you know? to it. When you talk to this young man, you don't get the sense that he will. Supremely confident and really feels like this UFC on, debut man. could have come a few go. years ago. He is ready to go. We'll see if he can get off to a good start tonight. Oh, he oh nice there. uppercut. Come on, let's go. There he swung with a haymaker. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Great combinations. I like the way he's mixing these up. Landed that one. Come on, man. Let's go. Really As you can see, I trained my stamina a little more. Ooh, but those but body shots, man. He just tagged him with that uppercut. He's got to be careful not to run into things, though. I'm Another sorry, shot that was my lands phone. upstairs. I'll turn, it on. I'll turn it down in a minute. He clipped him again. He landed a couple good shots here. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Damn the body shot. Right combo is good. Very nice shots landing. Okay, let's back up now. Well timed kick there, Joe. Both fighters hanging down in the okay. pocket and both landing. Okay. And he connects with the punch there. Oh, beautiful kick to the body. All right, so there's another hook. He's starting to find God a home for And you can see him coming from a mile away. And for some reason, my brain just says, nope, you're hands not blocking punch. this shot. You're not taking that leg yeah, the hand's going and here. blocking him with your fist. My brain's a motherfucker. That one hurt. Man. See? There he goes again. There. You can see him coming from a mile away. Under two minutes well, my, my to head's go. just like, nope. Not today, Junior. He's keeping busy here, connecting with a lot of punches. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. The big the uppercut. uppercut is there, Joe. Combinations here. Yeah, we're having more luck. And, he lands right hand. Here. and we got a fight on our hands. Come on, man. Watch that stamina. Oh! oh. Well, so an early lead for him here tonight. He came out aggressively, and that decision has certainly paid off. I feel like he's off. gonna throw Good a kick any minute. So really, oh my God, I'm walking too early. To go here in round one. Oh! oh! He's got the man. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Come on, throw another body kick. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Back and forth we go. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. The okay, good round, good round. Definitely my round as I knocked him down. Let's see some of the action Definitely here. Definitely my round. That head kick was a good one. Let's take a look at that again. Poo. Right on the noggin. Okay, next round. Catch your breath. 
See the tattoos? I really like the tattoos. Okay, that's definitely more help than we got in the WFA, and definitely more Thank ring girls. <laughs> okay, let's go. Mario Yamasaki, we're on, we're ready. Let's go. All right, here we go with round two. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. That's a nice clean shot. Well, okay, Joey seems on. to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. How about that shin? Oh! He's getting Whoa! busted. Oh! Oh! He's got him hurt here. Come on. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Oh. Man, has his chin been tested early. Oh. oh! Get up, man. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Big straight punch. Oh, he might be out. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Let's go. Taunting is also a really good way for the opponent. Those guys landed with conviction like now. He heard him Slacking with that a bit, one. you can provoke him to come come forward and attack you. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Lands a punch there, Joe. Come on. Oh, nice inside leg kick right there. Oh! This could be it right here. Huge uppercut misses. Punch is blocked. Good punch. Come on, guy. Let's go. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really strong. Oh! Nice. Oh! oh! He hurt him. Oh! 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 That's it. That is it. I really like the way that the. Uh, Incorporated the ground and pound after it's a knockout. A uh, knockdown. Volume of strikes, really smooth and last the, the, the aggressive the pounds on the face and the head. The it's really, really nice. Yeah, Joe, a near that. perfect strike to end the good, fight and end win. the night for his opponent, who candidly yeah, may not have even yeah, seen man. that Feels shot good, coming. Doesn't it? So just the All way right, he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knock. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer the fights will get more decision. interesting as we move on higher and, and higher in the rankings. Referee Mario Yamasaki is okay, so winner by knockout. <coughs> 23,000 cash. The only thing I like more about the the um the way that they did the the roster in EA Sports UFC 2, you could see who who else was fighting and if you were a fighter of the night, knockout of the night, submission of the night. That was, uh, that was more, that was, I liked that a lot. Simulate recovery. And yeah, we'll, uh, see you after the fight next. Let's go with a, a more difficult fight this time. No, definitely not. I mean, come on, dudes. Who is the highest striking? He does. Who is the lowest grappling? He does as well. Maybe we should go with a grappler this time. But my grappling is also not that bad. Let's go with this guy. He's, he's grappling and striking are, are, are about even. My stamina is better than my health as well. So Nathaniel Clark is going to be our next victim. Let's accept this fight. We're going to stop this episode here. I'm going to do the training camp and then... As we start the next fight, I'll see you in the next episode. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.